We have now filled all the holes. Well, Daisy's just not been well. So. Jim and I know we just can't achieve that on our own. We're not that fast unless we do section by section. How 30 days in a boat yard. Nicholas was recovering well after his operation. Despite being a big scary guard dog, he is always very well behaved for his favourite vet. Alright, we have now filled all the holes. We'll have to count them, but there's a lot. But now they're all filled, uh, we've washed the boat down. We're going to put up some tape for the next layer of paint and tomorrow we'll start painting the next layer of epoxy primer. So before we paint, mm -hmm. you can see that there's like a shiny layer. Oh, you're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a shiny layer on the epoxy and that does prevent uh, the paint from adhering really well. So basically what we're doing is sanding each of these patches before we paint the boat. So you can kind of see here now that it looks rougher and so the paint has something to adhere to. So we're basically going to do that for a couple hours and then paint this side and then tomorrow when the shade's on the other side of the boat, we'll do the other side. Doing it all by hand. Oh yeah. You really see the difference where you've done and haven't done. The Petite Protect Primer is very, very thick which makes mixing a little bit of fun and a bit of hard work. But that's the benefit of this paint. Each layer is like doing two to three layers of a different brand. Well, it started with an ad. Got a stupid good deal on a boat. Needed a little work. But the truth is the damn thing hardly flows. First I drained my scuppers, but they were clogged up from the right. Went to start a diesel engine, but I found she was One awesome. of the really cool things with this paint is it comes in different colors, which makes overcoating far more simple. So we got the white going over the gray, then we'll have another gray and then the black. Look what you've done. Well, yes, you make pretty noises. And I know you're feeding a baby up there, but it doesn't excuse pooping all over our fresh white decks. Say hello, Nick. Hey. So the good news is Nicholas's ear has healed very, very well. You can see there's no signs of infections. It's still a little bit thick here, but it's good. So we'll take those stitches out, but He's lost a little bit of weight. And the boy said he hasn't eaten for a couple of days and he's just not been well. So, yeah, we're gonna give him a good check over and it might be the rest of a blood test or something to see what's wrong with him. I took out the sutures from Nick's ear and everything seemed normal on a physical examination. So we decided to take some blood to send to a veterinarian in Tapachula. Nicholas came up positive for a blood parasite called alichia that can cause anemia, low platelets and renal disease. Nick's renal enzymes or kidney enzymes were also elevated, so we began a special antibiotic to kill the parasite and also did intravenous fluid therapy to help his kidneys. The only way Nick would stay still for his fluid therapy was if we patted him for the entire long time. All in all, it was a pretty good experience for Nick, I think. With Nicholas on the mend, we continued our bottom paint mission, with Jim doing the high places and me getting the low, before we did the keel and the rudder. Mm -hmm. 
In the interest of pleasurable and sensible viewing, we will now fast forward three weeks to the painting finale. However, in between all this, we had an emergency caesarean, engine woes, and a bout of typhoid fever. But you'll see more on that in future episodes. We've just got the boys taping up the boat and mixing some paint. And um, we decided for these last two layers, because the epoxy primer has to go on and then the anti-foul in this heat has to go on like within two hours, Jim and I know we just can't achieve that on our own. We're not that fast unless we do section by section. So we're gonna have the boys um, get it on for us. We've also been really, really sick. And so um, we've opted to outsource this last layer of paint so we can just get it on and have some jobs done to make up for the fact that we were away for um, two weeks. So yeah, anti foul will be done by tomorrow. So they've only been painting for like 20 minutes and they're already halfway done. They're a lot faster than Jim and I. And if I'm being very honest, it looks like they're getting a much nicer coating than what we were getting. This was the other reason we thought we'd get them to do the last coat, just to make sure that final coat is muy perfecto. Last layer of primer on. First layer of anti-foul. She's painted. As you can see, it's a really rainy day and it of course rained the night after we painted her. <laughs> so typical, but luckily it dries really fast, this paint, so it's not a big deal. And Jim has found a creature. It didn't get you. No. See it? <gasps> is it alive? Yeah, it is. It was just running around. I think it's hiding now. It's a scorpion! It's a scorpion! <laughs> oh, Jim! My hand is near. Cool. Let's poke it with something. You, should we poke a... No, they say, like, let sleeping scorpions lie. Do they say that? They say it about dogs and bears, I think. I'm going to flip it to the ground. Ready? Okay, get it out of there. Stop. <laughs> oh, he's opened up his claws. He wants to bite us. Oh, he's running. No, don't go back in no, there. God damn it. In. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, There's probably scorpions and all kinds of I shit. Know, you gotta be careful grabbing this stuff. Be very careful. Um, hmm. I'll help you. So, with each layer of paint, this is getting smaller and smaller and I like just fit in it. So now, when I go up, like my ears touch the side, so I like really just, just fit. I can't like turn my head at all or nothing. But this is the last layer of paint. And hopefully it makes the keel tighter too, because it bangs around a little bit, so it might actually make it like fit nicely. <laughs> hopefully it fits. Okay. in that keel box. With any luck, I'll never have to go in there again. <laughs> Thanks for watching and supporting Chuffed Adventures. 
We have plenty more footage coming, but the end is in sight now and we really can't wait to take you all sailing again soon. Our work with the animals really drives our mission and we couldn't do it without all of you. You can help us save more animals by becoming a patron, giving us a like or sharing our work with your mates. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.